Since I arrived in Kenya, I have stayed in the outskirts of Nairobi each evening. And each day I commute into town to meet with church leaders, NGOs, and businessmen and women in order to learn more about the fight against HIV and AIDS, as well as find people who wish to learn puppetry for education. The city is like many others I've been to around the world, alive with the hustle and bustle and people working hard each day to provide for their families, the rich, the poor, the orphans, the widows, street kids, and the people of privilege. I quickly found the church leaders who were enthusiastic about learning to use puppets to reach and teach their communities. Within two weeks, I was teaching puppetry skills all over the country. Kenyans are especially captivated by this educational art form, and it has been my pleasure to train them. I've spent time learning from local NGOs in order that I can learn what the needs are for education, especially in the context of the rich Kenyan culture, and develop appropriate HIV education curriculum to suit. It has been fast and easy to learn what I needed to learn. However, one thing has been missing. I needed to find at least three or four people who could perform the show I am developing. It takes several puppeteers and artistically inclined people to be dedicated to learning the presentation and capable of presenting it. After all, I must test the live show and create a video presentation to teach NGOs how the curriculum is used. So far, all I had met was people who wanted to learn puppetry. Uh, I needed existing, dedicated you. puppeteers. Thank you. Remember, I need, I need you to be taller. Nice and tall. Now eyes down. There we go. Good, good, good. So, first I went to NTV to talk about my project. Then, I went to the Kenya Broadcasting Company to advertise my project and try to find people who were interested in a public training session. And we want to evaluate how we can use entertainment not only to amuse but also to educate. Uh, just so you know, during this uh, during this part of this show, we, we we are going to be using puppets to demonstrate part of what Darren is talking about, and we're also going to to tell you how puppetry can be used in the uh, development of the curriculum, particularly for HIV and AIDS. But before we get there, let's see how do you use puppets, Darren, to teach. How, uh, how is it that you use both aspects, that people don't lose it, that they just don't get amused, but also get the message that you want to pass across? How, how do you draw the balance? Well, the balance is drawn it, just like in, in a dramatic presentation. If you were to watch a drama, uh, whether it's on television or in real life, in theater, well, certainly in fiction, we can teach valuable life lessons. Certainly in any presentation, you can talk about key ideas. What's special about puppets is, number one, they're not real. They're not, they're not real. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, they can say things that people might not, not necessarily touch. be able to say. Mm -hmm. In every culture I go to, in every country I go to, in every place, um, puppets are allowed to talk about things in public that maybe you and I might not, or might be embarrassed to talk about, whether it's politics or human sanitation mm -hmm. or um, um, sex, talking about condom use or, or HIV. You know, these are things that are uncomfortable for people, but because the puppets aren't real, they're given special allowances. And the same is true with um, humor. Puppets can say... The interview received a lot of attention. And within hours, the puppeteers I had been looking for found me. People would be angry, but because a puppet says it, they're like, oh, that's so funny. But it's also so realistic that people pay attention. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's fake, it's not real, and so it's allowed to say things that people aren't, but it's realistic, so people still pay attention and enjoy watching. And it's a powerful combination. I went to the Kenya National Theater in order to uh, just rent out a hall, find local NGOs, students, TV people, anyone who wanted to learn how to use puppets uh, to reach Kenyans with education. Um, and because I've been at the churches quite a bit, but I wanted to reach out to the, the community as well, at large, and I found the Kenya National Theater. I rented a room here, and um, I wanted a discount, so I said, you know what, I'll give you five free students if you just give me a discount on, on a room where I can do some teaching. And they, uh, they said yes. Some guys showed up, um, and here's what I found. You must know that after speaking with HIV education NGOs, at one point I actually said in a meeting, you know, it sounds like what I also need to do is to develop a humorous show that I can take to clubs and pubs to teach men about taking personal responsibility. 
When I met Jeff Agonda, he was back behind the theater, working with his team of dedicated puppeteers, writing and performing a puppet show. I asked him, what is this show about? Darren, we are writing a show that we can take to pubs to teach men about personal responsibility. For over a year, this group of artists have been practicing with their meager equipment underneath the razor wire of the back wall behind the theater, passionately and diligently rehearsing so they can promote cultural change and awareness. They call themselves the New Roby Puppeteers. These were exactly the people I was looking for. But they need help. Each day, this hard-working group of puppeteers meet outdoors to practice behind the theater. They're out in the sun, the wind, with their knees on the rocks and dirt on the ground. Lately, they've been borrowing my equipment, which was loaned to me by PuppetsInc.com in the USA. They have no professional equipment of their own. In their attempts to visit pubs to perform late at night, they have found that in spite of their funny shows, it's hard to get respect for their craft because they've only been using toy puppets. This crew desperately needs a stage a sound system, and high-quality puppets of their very own. Within hours of borrowing my equipment, they had started writing new scripts. We are going to be using puppets to educate people about AIDS and HIV, and also educating people concerning stigmatization. I have gone for lunch, but they say I cannot join them because I have the virus. Oh my goodness, that's very, very, very bad. They should go and eat with you. Ah, no, they said I will infect them, so I should stay here and they bring me my food. Okay, no worries. I'll go and have lunch with you. Uh oh! The AIDS has killed so many people, I know. Yes. Hey, Dan, did you enjoy lunch? Yeah, with yeah, uncle? yeah, I enjoyed the lunch. Oh, it was fantastic. No. Uncle, you are a good guy. You are a good guy. Oh, thank you very much. Auntie, I yes. don't want Miami. Why? Yes, it is. Don't like, sit next to him, he will infect us. Yes, Uncle! Yes. Hey, guys! You yes. are near done, he will infect you. Yes. No. So I think when we, the, the scripts, we can make the powerful, the sensitive scripts to attract more attention. And I think the puppeteers will, will teach, it will be more likely for, mm -hmm. yeah for people to admire and listen for what puppet is saying. Now you see, Johnny is living with HIV and AIDS and everyone is avoiding him. But you see, his uncle is there for him and he shows love to Johnny and he even hugs Johnny. So that means you cannot get AIDS by even touching, by touching or hugging someone who, who, is, who is living with AIDS. Okay. Let's see what the puppeteers... Within days, they had recorded their own songs. The action. Where? On the show, mom, on the DJ. Eh? Ah, on the gossip, on the gossip, on the gossip. Did you cut a bit? 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 Rehearsals started going stronger, ramping up practice to four hours a day, using their time efficiently to prepare shows for education and entertainment. Then, suddenly, after a year of work, they were told that they were no longer allowed to practice behind the theater. It's the only central location that they can all commute to, but the theater is demanding that they rent space now, now that they are getting so much attention from the people in the area with their intense rehearsals. So they found us training, and they want us to pay, to pay for the hall. That's what they want us to do. And we are trying to come up with ways of how we can train, uh, we can hire the whole cause, you know, we need privacy. Right now, two things are happening. The team is preparing original and pre-existing puppet shows that are appropriate for taking to schools, community events, and general entertainment, as well as their pub show for men. Additionally, they are working closely with me to develop and rehearse the HIV prevention and AIDS education curriculum. Once their program is tightened up, they'll be able to perform for money and take steps to being self-sustained. Once my program is finished, NGOs around Kenya and East Africa will be able to contract hire them to do educational shows in metropolitan and rural areas to reach people with life-saving information. However, 
In order to do either of these things, they need several things from you. No. Yes. It's a virus. Yeah. I was telling him the most important things to have, to have by certificate, ID and passport, good conduct, yellow fever, and pin. What's a pin? Pin is uh, is the number you use to pay P tax. tax. Yeah. Okay. In KRA. And this is for what? This is every papatia to have all these required equipment because we we are going to meet to to travel in different places and we need to know each other and be clean to everyone. Yeah. We need like uh, 16 puppets. Uh, an office and my friend I look handsome. You know? I know handsome. you do. Yeah, I look handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 16 puppets and, yeah, a, 16 puppets. and an office. Well, just a one. Why do we need an office? Just tell them quickly why. Why? Why this is unacceptable? <laughs> oh, my friend, it's privacy, my friend. It's like uh, changing outside, changing your clothes outside, my friend. What we need, we need privacy for practice. That's why we need an office. And also, apart from doing the puppetry. Uh, I have a good background in production. I can shoot. And also for office work, computers and stuff. So that's why you need office. And my friend, and I, know, I know a lot of you guys, or, or you know two or three guys, even ask them. Doing business or you're running a group with 15 guys and you don't have an office, it's really hard. It is. And it's making us old and we are young. young <laughs> That's true. I've got so many more gray hairs in the last three weeks. Uh, <laughs> what's up? Uh, no so, uh, uh, relax. It's Friday, man. Happy day. <laughs> the people are used to lectures. A person comes in front of you, he talks, he talks, and teaches you something. But when we use puppet, there's some comedy in it we are using. So it's like the talk is funny and also there's some edutainment, education and entertainment within the, the acting of the, and also the displaying of the message to the viewers. And if you're ready, you can Thank you so much for watching this video. The new Roby Puppeteers are an extremely dedicated group of people and they're working extremely hard every day and each and every one of them have come to me personally to talk about why they want to do what they want to do. <laughs> we are ready to move forward for the change of the world and the people here in our country because we can see there are so many changes needed in the community. Yeah, and we have to pass yeah. the message with the puppets. Puppets. Puppet. And through our talents. Yeah. 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 You make perfect talk and the puppet circle be message worldwide. But yeah, you're gonna change this world. People have to change. Yeah. Let everyone learn. And the, everyone from the kid to the old museum, old man, learn through puppet. And we can like to move each and every side of the world so that we can spread the message. Uh, because the man is about HIV and AIDS, which is a more dangerous disease. And we can like to teach about the youth and the adults about how they can able to take their self-care about their life. Because in HIV and AIDS, that is the main problem we have. It's a big crisis in the world. And we can like to spread the message all over the world. Asante Nisan. Poa. Yeah. We are the weapon. We are the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and the message is clear. They want to help change their culture. They want to move into the first world and develop along with the rest of the world. And that means changing perspectives, giving information and teaching their peers about healthy living and about taking responsibility for themselves. These people want to help themselves, but right now they need you to help them begin that process. Starting any kind of project in Kenya is difficult. But with your help, we can make this dream come true. Please, send what you can, tell a friend, click like on Facebook, and share it everywhere you can. This is for real. This is changing lives. And it's important. Thank you.